Hi guys, Rashonda here from TravelWithTheRussells.com and today we are headed to the Adler Planetarium. Yes, I'm super excited. We've been last year. I've been to the Adler Planetarium when I was a little girl. It's kind of like a tradition that you just continue to do with your children and plus it's so much fun. They're always changing new ex um, exhibits at the museum. And today was a free day um, for Illinois residents. And so basically how that works is you show your car, your driver's license or state ID at the registration desk. Again, you get free entry into the museum, which is really cool, right? Um, what's so great about today is that it is negative 12 today but it's sunny so uh, it's Chicago and it's January in Chicago and this is pretty normal it's pretty cold in Chicago in January so we made sure we bundled up and we headed out so it's still absolutely beautiful downtown right now I'm looking for a park and if you go early enough you can find a paper parking spot um, instead of paying for the garage parking, which can be $25 to $35. So um, the pay for parking option is available, and I believe it's a dollar for 30 minutes. So you can save a ton of money that way. Um, so you guys just saw the view of the uh, lake, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's full of ice right now. Um, and we just walked inside. And so this is the registration desk that I was talking about. She just asked for my ID. Um, and of course, it showed that I'm a resident of the state of Illinois. And I just went ahead and grabbed a key for a locker. You can um, purchase a key for $1. And we just stuffed all of our stuff inside. I put in the little token there. Um, you twist off that little key section, which is a little difficult, and then you pull and, and and you leave and you keep the key in your pocket. So we're heading right up the stairs. You can either go down or up. We decided to go up the stairs, and so he's taking his time and moving along, holding on to the banister. He's such a big boy. He's three years old now. Okay, so I noticed that they had a sign there, um, which is Sagittarius. You guys can see it right there. I'm a Sagittarius, and my birthday just passed, so you guys might see what I did on the blog um, for my 30th birthday in Jamaica. I also did a video of um, our trip to Jamaica, too, so you can search this um, YouTube channel for that. So the first area is the Planet uh, Explorers, and it's for toddlers mainly. Um, this is a great little area for you to um, come with your toddlers and everything small for them to play with. Um, so I really love this area right here. You can um, see the telescopes and um, some different areas. This video is going to be in the eyes of a three-year-old, and he moves really, really quickly. He's more about, okay, what's, you know, this place about, and he probably don't remember that he came here last year. So, um, he's more so exploring right now, which is absolutely great. So, I'm going to be fast-forwarding um, a lot of this uh, video as we go along, but just to let you know, he kind of hops around and so <laughs> hopefully you guys still get uh, a good idea of what the planetarium is all about it's a ton of fun but once again he's gonna be moving around and I'm gonna be keeping up with him with the camera so um, they have this we're still in the um, Explorers area the planet Explorers area and he just went into like this area where you can See yourself as big or small in the mirror um, and this area right here is where you can kind of connect the astronauts will connect their air and water 
and so he's gonna do that I thought that was a pretty cool piping system there for them to connect things and um, he really just had a ton of fun here now guys I'm gonna be honest this video is a little lengthy uh, feel free to uh, sit back and relax and just enjoy the show um, I try to it kind of squish the video down as much as possible but once again um, the Allen Planetaria you can stay in it for quite a few hours we were at the planetarium for about three hours so we had about an hour of footage and so um, I cut that down to uh, less than 20 minutes so um, hopefully you guys can still get an idea of what's included but it's so much more to do at the planetarium than what I'm going to show you. This really cool thing here is the toilet um, that the astronauts use and so that was really neat to have that here as well. Um, you're just playing around here on the surface. This space right here um, has a lot of cool fun games for the kids as well uh, and you're going to just see him playing around. guys so we are still in the planet explorers area and this is kind of like a spaceship the x mover spaceship here um uh if you follow us on travelwiththerestles.com on our blog then you'll see him a year younger in this exact same spaceship and it's so cute to just bring him back here every year and see how he sees new adventures um, at different ages so so much fun to um, bring him back to this space here and we arrived at the planetarium at 9 30 a.m exactly when they open so you're gonna see um just a few people inside and children will start coming in and playing with him because we were probably the first 10 people in the building um <laughs> like i said before you have to arrive early in order to get a good parking space so um there's always a ton of people on illinois free days for the museum so it's it's light right now but it's definitely gonna start getting uh, a little bit more traffic as we continue on with the video This area here is where you can kind of view your own spaceship and you are moving in space as an astronaut. All of the seats here were filled, um, so we just decided to leave, but uh, that's a really cool spot too, to just have, you know, your child relax and, and play and have some fun. So we're upstairs and they have this huge space 
um, ship area here and you can look down and you know you can see all of the planet explorers area here we're back at the telescope um, kind of barbecue pit area there uh, where he's looking up and he's seeing stars and it's so cool and he's so excited about it too it is um kind of like this black space area up above and they have these stars twinkling and you can see it and now he's on the grill because i asked him if he can fix me some food and so he's grilling right now and just cooking up some food and, and having a good time. Here is where you can plant some veggies. And so they have some plastic vegetables and you can kind of plant them and pick them and things of that sort. So um, that's pretty cool as well. All right, and we're off. We're on to the next adventure, but first he saw some of the items that they keep in the space shuttle. And um, he's like, oh, well, let me look around some more. And he saw some of his favorite toys um, and characters that he used as inside of those shelves there. So we are just taking a look. Now we're going into the main area. We're gonna be learning about the solar system here. And this area was about the uh, tool that they used to um, clean or excavate um, the area on uh, Mars as they were exploring Mars. And so that was a pretty cool device. Here we're learning about Mercury and we're just walking around looking at the information about the different planets guys so now we are in front of the um, planetarium and so before we entered um, at the that main level there and so that was kind of like the back end of it and this is the front end of the museum and we're just learning about the mission uh, on the moon see the telephone <laughs> Sit down and get on the telephone. Pick up the phone, Calvin. <laughs> Hello? That's super cool.
it is time to eat. We worked up an appetite and there is a really great cafe inside the planetarium. And so we're just gonna grab a quick bite to eat. Um, they do have a lot of different options um, for both vegetarian, meat lovers, vegans. And so you have a lot of different options to choose from. And it's priced reasonably too for the food. It's not bad at all. Um, and so we went ahead and decided on a pizza. Yes, um, just something that I can nibble on as well as him. He's a picky eater right now. I also brought us some snack and I brought myself a salad from the house. But look at this view. It's absolutely beautiful to just sit right next to this beautiful view and eat lunch. Alright, so now we are at the lower level of the planetarium, and so this area here was about um, telescopes and stars. Um, we perused this area just for a little bit. Again, my time was running up on my meter, so I had to um, go ahead and leave, but we spent two over two hours at the planetarium just having a ball and um we saw so much and actually calvin went ahead and went to sleep in the car after this but just the stars the galaxy um the telescopes just a beautiful beautiful place and this area right here is a very popular area to take a selfie so um you can hashtag them as well um, and it's just a really popular spot. It's beautiful how they created this space. Well, that's it. We wrapped up here and we are headed home. But I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful view of the Willis Tower as we drive away from the planetarium. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe, give us a like, um, give us a thumbs up, and let us know if you visit the planetarium before and how you enjoyed it as well. Um, also, visit us um, on our blog at travelwiththerussells.com. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.